we had through our home about 300 foster kids, I'd say. We could, we did. We had a big house. We, we added onto the house a couple of times, um, three bedrooms and ended up with eight. And, uh, <laughs> and so there's plenty of room to take others, yes. So we did. It never really entered our head at all to foster kids or to um, adopt children. We had three of our own, then decided, oh, it's probably enough. But then we thought it might be quite nice to maybe adopt a kid. So we decided, mm, another boy, please. Could we have another boy? Yeah, well, one came along and uh, well, that one was actually Liam. And, uh, oh, he's delightful, lovely. But, you know, he was like at the end of the family, no other boy to play with. <laughs> so, so we actually asked for another one and we, we never ever had to wait long. And so we ended up with four girls and four boys. Yeah, very nice. And we fostered between that time as well. When they rang up and asked would we foster the children, well, sometimes I'd say yes, and sometimes I'd say no, and then I'd ring up Lewis at work and say, um, I've just said we're taking another kid. <laughs> we started off with a few babies, I think, which was nice. Everybody liked the babies anyway. And, um, and, and then we got a few of the older ones. We also did teenagers. Well, she absolutely adores kids. She's able to take them in she puts them into her heart, and then she knows sometimes you have to let go some of the most beautiful children you've met. They come, they go, and you've still got to love that one as much as you love the other one. It makes me feel uh, like I've done my bit, and um, I'm pleased I've done it. I learnt a lot from it, for myself as well. Um, and I'm pretty sure that we've given quite a few kids a, a different outlook on life.